Hello YouTube world. Today we're looking at can openers. Some of you people out there are becoming can openers. What's he talking about? They're pretty much redundant in this day and age. Just about everything you buy now has got ring pulls. And they're very useful, easy to use. However, if you go down to your local shop and you look at a can of vegetables or anything else, you will find that if you've got a ring pull on, they're more expensive. So my preference, wherever possible, is to look on the bottom shelf anywhere or in a corner and you'll usually see some of these and they won't have the ring pull. And they'll be dirt cheap. They could be as much as a half or a quarter of the price of your other goods with ring pulls. So, if I see any of these about, I generally buy them. Ring pulls are absolutely brilliant. However, they're not 100%. Sometimes the ring pull just comes off in your hand when you pull it. Then you end up with a can and it usually goes in the cupboard. And you think, oh, I'll open that when I've got some time. And you get a pair of pliers just on there and try and pull it back and it just becomes an absolute mess. I've seen a couple of videos online and they show how to open a can with a tin opener. So stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. Now you could say why do you even bother with these type of stabby tin opener things. Well, to be honest, I prefer using these. You can buy those other things where they've got the big handles and the big twisty thing on the top, but eventually you get all gunked up and they generally break. These are pretty much foolproof. So what have we got? So from left to right, we've got the Victorinox Swiss Champ. Absolutely fabulous little knife this, by the way. Weighs 185 grams or six and a half ounces. And the main cutting edge just from there to the tip is 25 millimeters. Moving on from that, from the USA, we got the Leatherman Sidekick. This again, fantastic little multi-tool, well worth the money. Weighs 192 grams or 6.8 ounces. And the cutting length for the blade from just about there to the tip is 18 millimeters. Moving on again, we've got the BCB can opener. It weighs nine grams or 0.3 ounces. And it's got a cutting length from the blade of 15 millimeters. And finally, we've got an interesting little one here. This is the Swedish Army can opener. This weighs six grams or 0.2 ounces. And it's got a little cutting edge of 13 millimeters. Now, the BCB is made of aluminium and I've been very unhappy with it because it generally works okay-ish I don't know if you can see that there the tip on the end there has buckled when you dig it onto a can like like so it hooks underneath and that little bit there is just wearing away. So all in all, this one here, you could use it as an emergency, but any more than that, it's really not worth doing. This little boy here, I bought this on eBay, I bought a couple actually. I'm not sure how far they date back, but it's beautifully made. It's actually mint condition and you might be able to see there's the three crowns on there. So I don't know when they stopped making these but I would imagine the latest this is dated would be sometime in the early 1970s. If anybody knows anything about these by the way about their history or dates of manufacture please feel free to leave something in the comment section and um, we can all learn a bit more as we go along. Okay, enough of that for now. 
let's move on to the main business. The Swiss Army knife works really well. Hooks underneath and then the blade section tucks right up against the rim. And you use a downward action as you move along going forward it's a little slow it's a little messy as in it doesn't leave a perfect edge however it gets the job done I've been using this for years with no issues what I've also seen is, I'm going to try this now, it's the first time I've tried this. There's another technique in this where you just hold it on and you push forward once you've pierced the can. <clears throat> to be honest, I think I'll stop there. If I slip with that, I'll cut my thumb off. <laughs> So there we go, that one worked perfectly well. As I say, a little bit slow, but I've got no issues with it. Moving on to this style of can opener from the Leatherman. This works slightly differently. This one, you hold it on the edge exactly the same as the Victoria Knox. However, when you press down, this one then moves towards you. And you might be able to see from there, this is the side I've used the Leatherman, and this is the side I've used the Victoria Knox. And out of the two, the Leatherman gives you a slightly better and cleaner cut. Let's turn him over. Moving on to the BCB, the aluminium. It still works. It's based on the um, P51, I believe, from the USA, which I can't seem to get my hands on at the moment, but I will keep my eye out and see if I can get one for a reasonable price. And this one is actually quite uncomfortable to use. So that digs into your finger as you go. And you have to put quite a lot of pressure on with your thumb. However, it does do the job. Albeit like the others, quite slowly. Your thumb rubs on there, makes your thumb sore. I wouldn't want to be using this too much. So I wear my fingers out. It's quite uncomfortable to use. However, in its defence, it's dirt cheap, and although I've bent all the end off there, it keeps working. Moving on to this one, Swedish Army. As I said, it's beautifully made. This is all steel construction. I've never actually used this one. So, oh my word. That is pretty good. That is so much easier than the BCB to use. <laughs> Do you know what? 
I'm super impressed with that. I'll tell you, if you can get your hands on some of these, don't, don't bother with this aluminium rubbish from China. I know they're dirt cheap. Spend a tiny bit more. I mean, this was dirt cheap. This was only about a quid or two quid, I think. Absolutely worth every penny. And they've been around for years and years. It's well worth getting your hands on one. And look at the finish. He's gone through there. That's a pretty clean cut for a little can opener like that. And this was from the BCB. So all in all, if you ever get a choice between the two of these, obviously go for this. This is absolutely brilliant. Super impressed. Um, that is adequate and eventually I'll probably end up throwing that in the recycling. Right, I finally put my mat straight. So how do we judge these on cutting ability? Well, you can't really judge them too much because they're different beasts. These two are different styles. If you buy a Victorinox, you're going to get this cutting blade. If you buy a Leatherman, you're going to get this style of cutting blade but they both work really well. Moving on to these two, most people will probably go for something like this to put in a go bag or a little survival kit. And in that respect, they work quite well. This little boy here, that was an absolute revelation to me. Swedish Army make a fantastic kit. That's why they're still available today on places like eBay. I'm going to take this out and use the same technique I've seen in a couple of videos to open a can without a tin opener and I'll see if it works. Let's go outside.
Well, I certainly would not recommend opening a tin of oily fish using the method I just did. That thing shot out my hands like a leaping salmon. And to be honest, it was downright dangerous. However, if you was in some kind of survival situation and all you had was a tin of oily fish and no tools, then maybe you can give that a go if you're really careful. Well, if you've made it up to this part of the video, thank you very much. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, if you want to see future videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time.